All right. Well, thanks everybody again for joining in. This is Ty Toth and uh, along with my co-host, National Director Gina Mazzaro. And we've got a special guest tonight, Mike Keenan, who is, uh, listen, again, his credentials are, are uh, incredible. He's a health coach. He's a personal trainer. He's a senior director with ID Life. And if anybody understands the products and can really dive in depth, and, and, and I think it's very important not to go down uh, the wrong road with that. And Mike, I know you're going to share some things on that. So the last thing I'm going to do is steal your thunder on that. But, but please listen to what Mike has to share. It's very, very important. And, uh, and Gina, I, I'm, I'm sure you probably want to add a few things in there. I know you work very closely with Mike. So. So Mike, can't wait to hear what you have to share, and, and Gina, go ahead there. You know, Mike, uh, just, just to let people know about Mike, you know, since Mike started in this opportunity, I, I've enjoyed getting to know him and his wife, Susan, and obviously his son, Michael. Uh, but this guy is like a hidden gem. If you're, not, if you're not utilizing people on the team to learn from them, you really should reach out to this guy. You know, he, he came to an event with me, had nothing to do with him at all. And he spoke to these people. Uh, it was just incredible. Um, I, I was so touched by, you know, how knowledgeable he was and, and that he would do this for me. And we didn't even really know each other back then. But, mm -hmm. you know, Mike, you're, you're an amazing uh, leader. Uh, I, see, I see you killing it with this, you know, in, in your business, with all of your clients. You know, uh, I'm on Mike's mailing list, and, and I see what he does with his clients, and, and it's no wonder uh, he's as successful as he is, both in ID Life and, you know, with his uh, private um, business that he has, Keenan uh, Medical Fitness Center. Mm -hmm. So without further ado, Mike, I I'd love to turn this over to you. Thank you for all you do. I'm really excited to learn from you tonight. Th thank you so much, Gina, and Ty, and uh, I really appreciate the opportunity to be able to share with everyone tonight. Um, Jimmy uh, approached me the other day and he said, I really want you to dig into the ID experience a little bit, give us a little bit more of an explanation as to the benefit uh, of the product. And there's, there is tremendous benefit. Now, you know, we're very fortunate to be in a situation where we have Paul Sullivan, our science and, and medical advisory board, um, and, our, and the other people on the team that I might not even be aware of, quite frankly, that are formulating these products for us. It makes it very easy for us to be able to share these products with people because they do add value to people's lives. So let me kind of give you um, the problem and then I'll come back with our solution, right? Because I think it's important that people realize that there is a problem out there and you know, once they understand what it is, then they'll be more open-minded to embracing the solution. So, you know, the thing I tell my clients is we all need we all need nutrition insurance. And a lot of times, you know, the truth is the results aren't always physical. How do you feel today? What's your energy like? You know, what's your hunger, your energy and your cravings like today? Those are the kind of words I like to use with people. So the question always comes up is, can I get all the nutrition from the food I eat? And that's a very good question because at one point in time, that was very, very possible, but I'm not sure that is quite the case now. And let me make my case for you. Okay, first of all, do you live on an organic farm in California? Do you get plenty of vitamin D and sunshine every day? Or are you like me, trapped inside an office? Now, I love this picture too, because the one thing that I'm very big on is grounding. And it's very good for us to get out there and actually touch nature. The world's the largest magnet, and it does help to balance us out. Are you getting enough sleep every night or do you have uh, little cats attacking you in the middle of the night? <laughs> okay, do you exercise regularly? How well do you manage your stress? These are all important things that you have to take into consideration. So what did happen to whole natural organic food? Some of it's still out there, but it's awfully hard to get these days. The reason being is at one time, the snow hit the mountains and then in the spring, they'd have their spring thaw and all that mineral rich water would come down and literally flood the fields for that growing season. You can see that in the Nile, the Mississippi, the Amazon, all the major growing plains that fed the world. But now we put up dikes and levees to try to control this flooding and that stops the materials, the minerals rather, from being distributed in a manner that was done for thousands of years prior. 
So when the soil becomes depleted, the plants can no longer supply those vital minerals that you're looking for in your plant food. And then the animals that we may be consuming, they're also eating nutritionally deficient foods as well. So it's kind of a vicious cycle. Now, a lot of people say, well, I, you know, I get fresh produce delivered to me, but where is it coming from? Is it coming from Asia? Is it coming from South America? And does it come to you looking like this on a, on a, on a boat that may take days and or weeks to arrive to you? And the fruit and the vegetables that are picked are picked before they're ripe. So they're also nutritionally deficient. And Paul Sullivan, I've heard him say many times that if an orange hits the ground and rolls across a container, it can affect the vitamin C in that orange. So I, I think these are all things we need to be able to talk to our, our clients, our associates about, and help them to understand. Okay, so people keep coming back to me, how does this, how does this uh, match up with the RDA? Okay, and I'll just read you a quick definition. The RDA is the amount of an essential nutrient such as a vitamin and mineral that's been established by a national nutrition board, okay? Now, these nutrition boards are from the AMA, the American Dairy Board, sugar manufacturers, and of course, the seed manufacturers. And I want you to know that this was put in place to stop disease, to help you to survive, not thrive. I don't know anybody who walks around saying, well, I want my child just to survive, or I just want to survive. No, we all want to thrive. So we need to find ways in order to, excuse me, to do that. So the other thing Mark uh, Bennett always talks about is GMOs, and I'm not gonna beat that up, but I, I want you to realize that Monsanto has come up with a seed that grows a plant that when Roundup is sprayed on it, the weeds die, but the plant doesn't die. And you have to understand that in our stomach, we have these microvilli, and they're like genetic uh, barcode readers. So when we start putting food down there that wasn't created by God and it's been genetically modified, our barcode readers may not be reading it properly, and it may interpret it as a toxin or a poison, and it sets up an autoimmune response. And some of us see that as a little bit of inflammation, but some of us see it as a disease process like lupus, MS, rheumatoid arthritis, diabetes, and so much more. So... We have to understand that plants have an immune system too, and they're called salvestrols. But when plants are sprayed with herbicides, fungicides, um, and, and pesticides, it actually weakens the plant. And now we consume that plant, we get no salvestrols in our diet, so we're actually not getting the benefit that our ancestors got from eating fresh organic produce. And everyone likes to quote this study, and it, it's so true. You know, um, it's, it's from a, a journal that's over 10 years old. And of course, I highlighted it here. It says, today, an adequate supply of nutrients is often unattainable solely through a well-balanced diet. So a targeted, individually designed dietary supplement regime is necessary. Those aren't my words. This is research from 10 years ago. So for people who said, I can get all my nutrition through food, how sure are you now? And this is what I talk to my clients about. Now, it's funny. We talk about insurance. I just want to hit the financial end because people always say to me, well, how much does ID nutrition cost? I said, well, let's put it into context with what you're already paying. Most people, if you're a business owner uh, like me, you can expect to pay somewhere around $2,000 a month for health insurance. If you're employed, you probably still have a contribution that could put you up to seven, eight, nine hundred thousand dollars a month. Then you have homeowners insurance, life insurance, auto insurance, business insurance. I mean, personally, you know, my month starts with well over two thousand dollars a month just in insurance. And you know what? I hope I never have to use it. <laughs> okay. So it's there if I need it. But nutrition insurance, I get to use that every day. Okay, so People say, well, what should I be taking? How do I know what's good for me and so forth? Well, there are problems out there that was um, uh, evidenced on Fox News with uh, Logan going on and Troy Aikman explaining that the New York Attorney General, uh, General's office has found retailers that had false claims on their labels. Some of the stuff didn't include anything that was on the label. And, and more importantly, you know, there could have been some things in there that were harmful to people, you know? So that kind of gives us in the, in the health and wellness uh, arena a bad name because they say, well, I tried this and I got sick from it, okay? I'll tell a, a real quick story too. I have a client who came to me, took the formulation and said, milk thistle is not 
on my formulation. I take it from my liver because, you know, I, I, quite frankly, I drink too much alcohol and I want to protect my liver. So I didn't know, you know, what the answer was. So I, we got in touch with Paul Sullivan. He got back to us and he said, well, it says here that she's allergic to ragweed and ragweed and milk thistle in the same family. So I took her off her milk thistle, got her on ID nutrition and her allergies cleared up. So, you know, the reason you could say we, you could trust us is that we're not doing this research. We're using third party peer reviewed independent literature or research that allows us to make recommendations based on what you should take and blocking what you shouldn't be taking. And again, here's the, if anyone's looking for the, the link um, for Troy and Logan on Fox News, it's here. And again, if you have any questions or concerns with anything I talk about today, I have the links for everything. I can email to you. I can post it on the, on the uh, team page as well on Facebook. Okay, so what is nutrition insurance? My definition is the consumption of pharmaceutical grade vitamins, minerals, and other food supplements that are recommended to an individual based on a HIPAA compliant assessment, which investigates age, gender, geographic location, season, current diet, sleep patterns, activity levels, body composition, family history, and so on. Okay, all the things that we get. Now, does this technology even exist? Well, it didn't when this picture was taken, and I had to throw this in because I knew Michael was going to be on the call tonight, and this picture is easily 10 years old or more. So if it wasn't for ID Nutrition, um, we wouldn't be all together here. So Michael, don't kill me when I get home. Okay, but it does now, and that's, that's our ID Nutrition right there. Um, no soy, no GMOs, no casein, no lactose. I'll get into that in a second while that's important. No artificial sweeteners, no food chemicals, no food additives, wheat-free, gluten-free, made from organic and naturally derived uh, components. <laughs> and here's some more good news, okay? Uh, we have, in addition to our ID nutrition, I could talk on that for an hour, so I just wanted to give you a little uh, bird's eye view of that. Let's dive in a little bit to the whey protein and, and why it's so good. Well, we always talk about it's non-GMO from the ground up because we get our whey from New Zealand. Okay, but I want to give you my top 10 reasons why whey protein is so good for you. First of all, it's a complete protein. You need protein to make muscle. Everyone knows that already. Your immune system is a protein derivative. Your hormones and enzymes are protein derivatives. The collagen, is the glue that holds you together, hair, skin, nails, that's all uh, a protein derivative and as is hemoglobin. And we break these things down, we need to replace them. That's why it's important to have protein in our diet every meal. It helps promote muscle growth, and it's much better than casein or soy, okay? We don't advocate soy in our facility. We haven't done that for a long time. It is a hormone disruptor for men, definitely, and it's not always uh, the best for women because it does act as a estrogen mimicker, that's soy. It may help to lower blood pressure. Again, a lot of these things that I'm gonna read off to you now have to do with the hormonal effect in the body of whey and how it helps to improve. So it's gonna set off certain hormones that help to reduce inflammation, helps with the treatment of type two diabetes. How does that happen? Protein is very, very good for people who are type two diabetic because it lowers your insulin level and it causes the increase of the release of something called glucagon, which is where you take the sugar that's being stored, it puts it onto the bloodstream in order to be burned by working muscles, okay? So it's really good. Um, and again, whey protein is, is excellent for that. Um, it helps with irritable bowel syndrome. It helps with digestion because it's very easy to digest. Uh, I said it enhances your immune system and also your antioxidant defenses. Antioxidants are what basically stops you from rusting from the inside out. It also helps to lower LDL cholesterol. The reason for that is it doesn't cause uh, an increase in insulin. And insulin and cholesterol are very closely tied together. And if anybody wants more information on the things I'm talking about now, I can go into more detail later, but I'm just trying to give you a bird's eye view. Also, it's very satisfying, it fills you up. So if someone's trying to lose weight, it satiates them and they're not looking for more. There's so many times where even in the morning, I'll drink my shake and I'm like, oh, I'm not sure if I'm really you know, satisfied. And then five, 10 minutes goes by and I'm in, back into work and I'm not even thinking about food anymore. So it definitely works. And of course it helps with, with weight loss. Now we also have a vegan shake. Okay, and I did some research on this today 
because I wanted to back it up. And again, I have the third party peer reviewed independent literature to back this up. But our vegan shake is not just pea, it's not just hemp, and it's not just brown rice. And you could buy those type of uh, proteins on the market and they are less expensive, but less expensive doesn't mean better, okay? Ours is a mixed plant-based protein, which is far superior than just the pea, the brown rice, or the hemp when taken separately. Ours, like whey, is a complete protein, okay? That's the knock on with vegetarians. Sometimes they have a tough time uh, putting foods together to give them their complete protein package. Okay, and it's very, very important you have that because you know, if you're missing one piece of a puzzle, you could still see what the puzzle looks like. But if you're missing one amino acid that you need to make uh, collagen, you don't make collagen, you need the complete essential amino acid profile to make these things in our body. Also, ours has digestive enzyme in it. The big thing I got from people when I first started talking about the Vegan protein is, oh, it's high in fiber, it's a, you know, it's a lot of plant material, it's hard to digest. The guys at ID Life thought about this already. They figured this problem out. They have a digestive enzyme in our vegan shake, which helps us to break down the fiber, makes it more bioavailable, which basically means you can absorb it a whole lot better, and it's, and it's easier to digest. Okay, let's get on to the hydrate, because I'll talk for the next hour if I don't speed this up. Okay, so... The important thing you have to know here with our hydrate, other than the water you put in it, is the electrolyte formula. And electrolytes are very, very important in the body. Okay, they help to regulate heartbeat. They stop you from having fatigue. They help with seizures, with nausea and dizziness. Uh, helps with diarrhea. I have clients who come to me, if they have the flu, I make sure they get some hydrate. If their little, little children get the flu, six months to a year old, anybody can take um, or hydrate. There's, there's no age uh, limit on, on when you could start some on it because everything in it is balanced and perfectly proportioned. The, the amount of sodium, potassium, calcium, and magnesium are all at the optimal levels. This is, it's really pretty fantastic. Um, so a lot of times what happens with uh, electrolyte disorders are people who drink too much water but don't have the electrolytes in place it can really cause a lot of problems. A lot of people, I, I see it on, on my end, is the fatigue and the headaches. Once we start them on the hydrate, it really helps with chronic headaches and chronic fatigue. And also, quite frankly, it helps with digestion because without enough water to move everything through the system, things start to back up. And that's why a lot of times I'll talk to people and they'll say, you know, I usually only have I only go to the bathroom once, a, once every two days, and that's a problem we should eliminate on a daily basis. And sleep. So I, you know, I could build a business just on sleep. You have to understand that there's, there's two reasons why people wake up in the middle of the night. One is anxiety. That's why so many people we know are on like a Lunesta, an Ambien, a Xanax, um, you know, a lot of things uh, to help them to lower their stress levels, okay? And the other reason would be that their blood sugar is unstable. It's because they're, they're not eating properly. And that's a whole nother ball game. But the truth of the matter is this. Our sleep product has L-thalanine and 5-HTP, which are precursors to serotonin. Serotonin is our happy hormone. It helps suppress cortisol levels. When you suppress cortisol levels, you naturally allow melatonin to go up. So it really is an easy fix. It's non-habit forming. It's so easy to use. I know myself and my wife and, and, and most of the people I know, they take it every night and it really helps them tremendously. My little testimony is I used to wake up multiple times during the night. I wake up just once. And you know what? Everyone knows I'm at my studio about quarter to six in the morning and I hop up out of bed. I feel good. I'm not groggy. It's a tremendously good product. And you need to start to talk to your associates and talk to your customers and, you know, now they made it so easy to give these out as samples. They're all individually packaged. So you can hand someone a week's worth, give them five out of your packet and say, try it for a week and let me know what you think. Okay, I'm going to uh, unshare my screen now. And, whoops, and I'm going to go up to here. Okay, I'm going to st hit stop recording. Um, is that okay, Gina? Gina just nod. Yep, okay. And uh, then we 